Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. There's been a lot of questions about coal and the direction of coal going forward. I think you need to also remember this very clearly. You need to separate them because there are several types of coal and I'm going to talk about thermal and met coal, also known as coking coal, because they are two different things. Thermal coal, and if you're listening to what's going on over the COP28, is clearly going one way, and that is down over the medium term. The demand for it should and is decreasing. Even players like India and China know that they cannot continue to sustain their overall energy mix using thermal coal. It is why BHP, Rio, you even look overseas, you look at Glencore, all of these kind of players, even Peabody to some extent, know that thermal coal is something that is not really long-term tier one investable, and they are divesting quite quickly. You then look at the players that are in that space, New Hope, you look at Whitehaven Coal, they're still doing quite well because the price is elevated from the issues around the COVID era, but it is starting to fall away. The flip side is Met Coal. Met Coal is something that there is still an argument will be needed for a long time to come, and that's true. The catalytic converter that is requiring to turn iron ore into steel means that met coal's demand will be there. But, and it is a but, new technologies are starting to take its place. Places like hydrogen are starting to show that it can be used as a replacement for that catalytion and moving towards those kinds of slightly greener, if you can call it that, play that happens with regards to changing iron ore into steel. That is its headwind and that is its catch. BHP is probably the one to watch here. They have made it clear that if they can move away and start becoming a inverted commas, more responsible miner, that they will. You can see that with nickel, you can see that with their potash division. They know that new world mining is what they wanna do. So cobalt, lithium is all part of their mix, but coal isn't. And it's been the second pillar for many, many decades, but it is starting like its petroleum business to becoming aged. And it's for me, a player like BHP moving on coal the way it is, that I think is the answer to this. Coal is a now story. It's a now and five year story. It's clearly not a long-term story. And that's what I think you need to look at if it is in your portfolio.